The last two episodes, you saw us traveling to the Hammock Festival, HangCon, and just a slight tour. This time, I'm going to take you deep and give you a real feeling and immerse you in what the awesomeness was that you missed out on. Stay tuned. One of the many amazing things that you would see at HangCon are the classes, and this is just one of them, a knot tying class. Okay. And so if you have a stake, mm -hmm. you can do it that way. That's how I measure my stakes. And then just cross it over, grab, oops, cross it over, cross it over, <laughs> like that. And why am I messing up? Probably because the camera's on my face. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then you got it right here. And then when you're done, and you can hook this up to a car. Yeah. And pull this. And what do you call that? This is a trucker's loop. Truckers. And you pull this and you're done with it. So now we're gonna do the other one here. As if I'm looking for a little bit longer, I could use the whoopee fling for further distance. Um one problem with the whoopee fling on its own is if you are close, this is about as close as you can get. And sometimes you're in a very cramped spaces where this is just too much. But if you know how to tie that Beckett hitch and you've got something else that you can attach to your hammock, then you can go right up to the tree. So this one, that's why it has. And this is Keith uh, pulling out his uh, cross country monkey. He came down all the way from Chicago. Uh, of course, he didn't ride because I think there's probably, I don't know, a foot of snow up there or something like that. But, uh, yeah, he rides this thing cross country with his wife on the back, pulling a trailer, and they tent camp. So pretty exciting to see the monkey. And I actually got a chance to ride this beast. Unbelievable. Yeah, after we got the monkey pulled out, uh, uh, Keith came up to my haven and uh sitting around chatting i think uh looks like we're all drunk but this is still pretty early here i think and uh keith actually got a chance to uh try out the hammock i've been trying to convince him uh, he needs to uh to uh, start hanging but uh he does carry his wife with him and i think this would be a little bit uh we're just still, still trying to figure out the whole uh marriage thing in a hammock but uh he did get a chance to to try it out i think that's the key is most people don't think that they can sleep in a hammock and there's all kinds of new um, hammocks on the market that allow people to not have to sleep on their back in a hammock i think that's the usually the biggest thing that keeps people from from even trying to hang but after that uh, we all got on the bikes and rode into town for some refreshments i think we uh we had uh had to keep the uh, the coolers filled full of beer and snacks all the food that any uh, reasonable person needed was provided uh, we really didn't have to pay for a thing but we did like to sit around the campfire at night and uh, have a few brews and some snacks so that's what we uh, we were highly motivated to get on the bikes at this point and just I think just get out and ride because it's a beautiful day uh, traffic was pretty heavy in the Brooksville area. This is north of north of Tampa. Um, I would say mostly in the country, but Brooksville is not as small as you would think, or at least as small as I thought. But yeah, short ride through the countryside and the cow pastures to get to Brooksville um, and uh, load up. And of course, my navigation skills uh, led us down to the middle of downtown instead of the Walmart, which we were trying to to find but that's okay we had the monkey navigator with us oh yeah it's close. my navigation to walmart took us downtown so i, I started to think where the hell are they going to put a walmart down here and then while we got there it's like you're here it's like uh no it was pretty awesome to uh to ride around with the crew even uh, as short of a time as we we made a uh, shorter trip still pretty awesome to uh to get uh get a supply run in and then you know this is a typical scene uh that you see hanging around the campfire at night having a few and then when we got hungry we just uh tripped into uh dinner um under the pavilion and like i said uh it was a free event and they fed us and it cost us nothing um 
they did have a donation box and you could buy raffle tickets and they gave away a bunch of awesome stuff and this is pretty much where everybody hung out you get in the soup line and i'm not kidding this stuff was gourmet food uh I don't think they had snake steak and lobster, but the the flavors, everything was just top notch. Um, you pretty much had to bring your own utensils in the plates and drinks. Uh, so here's my first trip on the monkey. This thing is a beast. Um, believe it or not, I think it comes stock with a 125, but uh, I think he slung a rod in the engine. And this thing's got a 300 in it now, and it's just so much fun to ride. A, a regular monkey, the Groms, all those things are fun to ride, but this thing's just extra special. And uh, it even even allowed a big giant like me to ride around on it. And uh, we're loading him back in his vehicle so he could head back north. He's got uh, <laughs> he's got a real life <laughs> in Chicago, so we let him have it. I'm just gonna. You got it. <laughs> Watch out, it's full of thorns. Yeah. Here, get that other one. <laughs> Just right recognize. There. Get that other one. Oop. Yeah, uh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> Ow! Well, I got thorns. Thorn. It's not ready yet. <laughs> yeah, it's not ready yet. What do you mean, ready? It's red. It's orange and it's. <laughs> dude, that's raw. It's like a comb floor. You're right? crazy, dude. It's raw. <laughs> it's a clementine. No, Is it a clementine? It's, clementine. Or it's too a late. Green. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. It's off now. See, it's still green. That one's more orange, but it didn't come right off. Yeah, see, I saw one on the ground. I thought, oh my god, it's really a clementine, is it? That's fucking awesome. Oh, throw the peels yeah. in the fire. So when we start the fire later, it crackles a little bit. Smells like orange. That will help this whole other one. Dude, now this one now it's a ground. Florida experience. It oh, smells totally. like Florida. Totally. Here, hold this. Can't. What, does your campground have clementines? Yeah, you're right. It's not right. I know. It's delicious. I'm rarely, if ever, wrong. But you knew that. Yeah, so I saw that on the ground. I thought an animal or, or somebody just brought some clementines and I would just toss them around. <laughs> but they More just motorcycle. Grow in the wild. Here. Go ahead. Taste the piece. See how long. See how wrong you are. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's not right. It's got a few more months, huh? You can see a zipper that runs the perimeter of the whole hammock. It comes up here, it makes a nice sharp turn. It's nice sewn together. This is a gathered end instead of right through a sewn channel. So I've got a gathered end. And of course, the vendors made this event possible. Well, here's the thing I know the tarp is 11 feet, so just do two of those or something. You know? Okay. Just go slow. Yeah. Why is everybody freaking out over the windows? I like uh, them. It's, Funny, it's unique. Okay, you're a girl, so we can explain that away. Well, I, uh, Sometimes if you. you get enclosed and it's cold and you drop your tarp really far down, you can you feel can a little claustrophobic yeah, yeah. in your hammock. And with the window, it's designed to be over your head, so you can um, get a little view outside. Maybe you want to see if it's raining or if the moon is out. That's a good answer. I figured I had to do something with how you set your tarp up. I don't usually go that close to the ground. So. Right, but if, if you have... If you have severe weather, then sometimes you want to drop it down. It's a novelty. It's a, maybe uh, something a little different. That... Well, thank you for the honesty. It's a novelty. How long is that window going to last? In the um, I've actually been testing it, and uh, my original color was a lighter gray, and the tarp itself and the coating is turning yellow before the window. Yep. So... I don't care about color as much as I do cracking and destruction and the windows turned out to be room. more durable than the actual and it's a very durable tarp and you said how long is i've had tarps outside for two years in pretty exposed conditions just it's not a 300 dollars tarp no it's so special about this hammock that you had to track down the guy that's already packed up and left not a hammock it's a pillow i'm sorry pillow yeah so it's a it folds up like this Take it out. It squishes down. It's a brick. Right. So it's uh, foam. As you can see, it's expanding. So it's expanding right before our very eyes. And mine's a snake, so it's, I think it's like growing into its skin. So it's kind of like one of those little animals you drop in water and it expands. It kind of. turns into a... So yeah. it's like this. Tim has one up in his hammock and I didn't think it would hold my head, but then I 
actually laid on it and it's really comfortable. Yeah. How much? 35 for the small one. And then, and then they have a big one. It's like this. But it squishes down to nothing. Yeah. Roll it, put it back in the bag. All your problems are solved now. Every one of them. Every, yeah. It's, Not a single it's one. another another gadget that makes you happy and smile. And it does. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. You get your window tarp. Yep. You get your squishable add water hand, uh, pillow. <laughs> and you get baggies. your pretty little waterproofish purple baggies. Purse, baggies. Toiletry. What do you yes. put in there? Any, I don't know. It's probably toiletry stuff, but okay. I haven't figured out what I'm putting in there yet. Yeah. I know as soon as I find something, I'll put it in there. It's pretty and it matches your eyes. <laughs> good, good try. Good try. <laughs> I, I totally fell for it. <laughs> what are you doing now? Gonna head back up to camp. Yeah. We swung enough. I was hoping somebody would come up and go, Hey, let me tell you all about your swinging rocket chairs. I don't even know if those are for sale. They've just been Why here all day. That's what I told Don. I said, uh, I was like, we're just sitting here rocking somebody's chairs. Yeah. They're like, I sat in them too. They're they won't say anything. Well, they're, yeah, like exactly. really not, they're like really nice people. It's like, if like, you don't want people to sit in your chairs, you shouldn't put it out in the aisle. You can get up and sell their friends. Don't leave your chairs out here. It's like a 45 minutes to dinner, so I'm going to go relax for a bit and then come back down. That sounds good to me. And of course, Haven was there, one of my favorite hammock manufacturers, uh, and Derek, the owner, was there. He gave us a, a tour. I'll share that uh, tour in a later video, but here's a small taste. Put your feet on that side. And it's the whole kit, you know, so you don't have your right. underquilt, you know, a whole bag for that. And oh, so this is the air mattress. Yeah, the air mattress yep. there. That's the hammock with the straps and the guy lines and the stakes. How hard is it to get it back into its? It's uh, so so. You gotta the, roll it yeah, the right way. Yeah, the XL it. is much easier than the standard. Yeah. I yeah, had them make the XL bag just bigger. It's like, yeah. hey, what, what's what's the sense? It's about the same weight as the tent. Yeah. So I'm still working on the last few episodes, and the real drama is yet to come. So make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so you know when I put those videos out. Because YouTube's not gonna let you know. See you next time.